embrace her. And I felt like that's what Melody did. But it was more profitable to, to sell you. Yeah. It's, it should be a, a, some type of line drawn, though, how far you would go. You Especially your four children, you know? Yeah. Because she don't know how long she's going to be where she's at. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I know things looking good for her right now, but you just don't know. I don't know. She, she's she's more <clears> into <throat> one of the housewives, like big time. Yeah. Yeah, she, she's that. And with that comes... I mean, it's kind of like Portia and them went through. I don't give a fuck. Give a fuck. Nene was the biggest thing ever. And <clears throat> you saw how you quickly fall off? And then add four kids to Nene. Four. So now where am I in And you could have did it. See? I get a drone in the shot. I didn't do this. Where am I in it? And you could have did it. See? I get a drone in the shot. I didn't do this. Where am I in it? what is up y'all it's your girl brand new and honey i am back in the building this time honey i'm on part i don't know honey okay like we didn't did so many parts of this martel and tasha k because i just want to break this down inch by inch but why are you bringing my girl miss lanethia leaks okay into the conversation hook headed why Okay, Nene wouldn't play with his ass. She would have took his ass through there. Okay. <laughs> I could only imagine Nene would hook headed, honey. Okay. Greg would never. Greg would never. But let's check out what he's saying. Oh, did y'all hear what he just said? Add four kids. Did you hear that? Let's play that again. I I, I, I told y'all about having these kids with these men they're not having these kids because they want them they want to use the kids as pawns to keep you stuck okay they don't want you to have a babysitter they don't want you going out on dates they don't want you enjoying life you are a piece of their property that's why a lot of niggas stalk you after y'all break up because he still feels like you belong to him. You owe him. Okay? That's why this fool keep cutting up acting a fool. Thing ever, and huh, you saw how you put you to fall off? And then add four kids to Nene. Four little kids. Yeah. Yeah, come on now. I only have how, how good somebody's doing. Fuck that. You can fall off real quick. Real mm -hmm. quick. We all know that. We all see it. I'm for he is so bitter and bothered and he wants her to lose everything it's really sad it is really sad like i said i'm for black families and i just wish there was some type of way without television being involved that you two could just i think it would be more entertaining at this point to, to have ariana on the show and to have you know <sighs> tasha k you didn't lost your mind have Arion on the show? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I like her being off the show because they are reminding her, you on the bench. <laughs> okay? You are on the bench. You are to watch the game from the stands, honey. But other than that, you are not allowed on this here turf. Okay, you have to have standards, you have to have boundaries. Ariane was Martel's choice. Melody did not pick her up out the trash. That was, you know, Melody did not do that. She did not pick her, so she ain't got to share no show with her. Was she singing about her? So the fuck what? You shouldn't have been fucking her damn husband. Shit, I bet you I turned into a goddamn rapper. Shit, or a singer. Hell yeah, I'm gonna make money off of you. Okay? You're supposed to be embarrassed. You're supposed to be ashamed. But I told y'all, when these people, you know, on the first floor, they ain't got no morals, values, ethics, decorum. They ain't got nothing. Okay? But some raggedy ass bragging rights. I took your man and if you was able to take anything from me, I don't need it. It don't belong to me. Okay? Bragging about some raggedy ass man. In the words of my grandmother, you ain't got a man. You got a pair of pants. Okay? And the pair of pants, Ariane, you got are tight and got holes in them. Okay? I mean, I'm just saying know her partner on the show and just kind of let y'all go at it at this point like how quiet and 
you know, Doctor, is it Lust for Diddy? Like how he and girl, a- Quad ain't even on the damn show because you can't be using that shit as an example. Girl, bye, Tasha. Tasha is the Lulu too, though. So she's not reading the room. She's not, you know, saying the appropriate things that go with this situation. Yeah, but he been with her for so long. It's disrespectful. Same way it was disrespectful for him to bring a woman to that house. See, y'all keep... Yeah, but they broke up. It does not matter. Read the room. Read the room. Okay? You don't bring new people into... What? A cast trip? You know, without telling everybody that's rude to do his, his new wife and yeah. you know it's, it's it's more entertaining that way like oh my god like a mis- I wouldn't say mistress but you know another woman your husband's on the show there's a whole another wife and yeah, yeah like, I don't know just, if they I don't know if um, she or like like Ariana come on and take the spotlight yeah. What damn spotlight is she gonna take if anything she gonna knock all the damn light out okay she ain't Melody's equal, but that's how these raggedy niggas is. They be thinking these these builder bears they be messing with is like on your same level. <laughs> Child, bye. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's it would be, and I feel that that's, I think what Melody would be like, kind of scared of. Like maybe Ariane would take the spotlight from her. 100%. Because I'm, so? I'm not. Melody's like, let's do it. You know, but I'm, she's against it now. Yeah. Okay. Why? Because she has standards and boundaries and she wants you to respect them. Why you want her on the show? You ain't even want your kids on the show and you claim you love your kids and they your life and that's your real life. Nothing he says, it makes sense. You ain't got to come getting her out her cage, and, you know, so she could be on the show. Why are we doing that? Why? It'd be like, you know, you already took my husband. You're not about to take my benefits. Yeah. You already took my husband. So the if he's a raggedy nigga, be glad somebody took him. That's all I have to say. What are you missing out on with somebody that's a narcissist? What are you missing out on when it comes to a man that can't be faithful? A man that lies to you and cheats on you for all these years and puts your health at risk what are you missing out on how is he such a great man some of y'all your penis don't even work so you're really out of order okay you need a handicap sign on your balls shout out to martin you all remember what he said at boomerang (laughs) you ain't hit the twins line not a drop which I can honestly see from a wife's perspective. Yeah, yeah. You know, but stop talking about her. Oh, don't allow us to talk. Don't, don't allow us to talk. About, like, let's stop having. Let's even mit- stop mentioning her. Period. You know, if, if that's the case. Well, they should stop talking about me, and the show is about me. girl. Your your ego, coleslaw, is inflated for absolutely no reason. You don't look that good. You didn't do a good thing. You are supposed to be disrespected it's just gonna come with it when you sleep with somebody else's husband melody is famous people like her they're not gonna like you some people i see you know they have this sister wife kinship with you where they you know i could just tell with some of the women it's like yeah you you one of them (laughs) okay you just like her okay yeah i like her i like her she cool he love her, you know, those type of women that's probably in the same damn situation. So you're going to have people that love you, you're going to have people that hate you. Well, they just be talking about, they don't be talking about you no more. Not like that. So that's an exaggeration. It's an exaggeration. But she didn't get a prize. She didn't even get a title. And Melody came out and read her for filth and told her that. And she really got mad. And then she really tried to appear with Martell. It's this little, it's this game that just keeps going and going. Okay? So what did you take? You didn't take a a good man because a good man would have never cheated on his wife and ruined his family. 
You are her headache. Melody is living her best life, making a lot of money. Okay, she's a beautiful woman. She got options. You ain't the only man out here. They be acting like you can't get nobody else. She just mad, you know, because I ain't want to be with her. Don't nobody want your raggedy ass? You should have been out with yesterday's trash, okay? Shit. I remember I told some man a long time ago, I was like, ain't you going to take the trash out? Oh, I did take trash out. I said, no, I think you forgot a nigga that weighed 180 that need to go stand on the curb right next to the trash. Are you being funny? No, I'm being real. <laughs> little jokey joke. <laughs> The fact that he goes on and on about her being a good mom, that's not good enough. What do you love about Ariane? Watch how he deflects. Okay? I love that she's fun to be with. I love that I could just be myself and, and you know, be vulnerable with her. I love after a hard day... You know, I I know I can depend on her and, you know, she's going to have my back. She's going to listen to me. Okay. Like that's, that's how, you know, whatever you got with somebody is of substance. They're going to mention, you know, what you do for them, not just oh but she's a good mother like I told y'all I know he don't love her through all these pauses these pauses are not good okay they're not good some great line I'm t- listen, I'm telling you. <laughs> See how he changed? They changing the subject. What you love about Cheers this wine? Cheers a lot. Cheers a lot. Let's eat the See how he's... See, what What do you love about... See, he a man that love you, they gonna be like, I, I love her. She's just such a good person. Cool as hell. Down to earth. She's personable. She's caring. She's kind. You know, she's real. He's not... He don't say none of that. It's elegant. Yeah. Yeah, we just having a, a nice adult conversation. Yeah. What do you love about Ariane? You know, first, you know, she's a she's a great mother. Okay. She's a great mother. But like your stepdad, too, because she has enough child. I'm not a... Now, he mentioned, this is how I know he's full of shit. You mentioned she's a great mom. You've been in her daughter's life for all these all this time. Tasha was so shady with her questions, but I was here for it. Because, yeah, nigga, you a stepfather to her daughter. No, no, her her father's in her life. It don't matter. You could still. I used to see my dad and I still had stepfathers. That's how you know there's no connection. A man that loves you wants to be connected. Will say, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, she's like a daughter to me. Yeah, that's my baby. And that's how I know they're not really connected from a heart space. You can share space with people in a physical way, but I'm talking about from a heart space. That's my baby. That's my little daughter. Okay. He wouldn't have been offended by her saying, you know, he's the stepdad. Stepdad. So you're, you're, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not married. I, okay, but you're in, you have a child. Why do you have to keep saying what you are not? Well, I'm not married. Everything is, I, I, I'm, I'm by myself. I'm just attached to her. Pretty much. child with Ariane. She already has a child. So, and so, so how do you... So her daughter, you know, has, has, has a father. Okay. You know, um, but I do resume responsibilities for, for all of them, though. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, so you yeah. have to... You have to she, she, she has a daughter. 
So you have six kids that you provide for. <laughs> hey. Because you can't provide no, for one not. and not provide for both. Like, that's accurate. That's accurate. So let's say, to say you take care of both of her children. Or your children. And children. Yeah, but, but again, Ariana, you know, she, she's, she's a good mom. Um, and, and that's what I like about her, you know? You know, her daughter's been in um, private school since since day one, and she's a um, straight-A student. Mm -hmm. Ariana, she is, she be, she be on her, her daughter's butt about homework. And Ariane be home at homework with her, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And again, you know, I love kids, I love family, I love all of them. <clears throat> and you know, see, see, Ariane just like that's her number one, you know, a daughter, and making sure that she's doing good in school, uh, make sure you know she's involved. Um, so yeah, and Ariane, you know, we, we vibe good too, though, you know. Yeah. Like we. Don't How long has it been since y'all been together? Now? It's been quite some time. It's been quite some time. Now notice how he don't. Um... He doesn't give like an exact amount of years because he doesn't want, you know, he doesn't want Melody to know how long he probably really been cheating, but he doesn't, you know how you telling the truth and you just say it how it is, like just tell it like it is. With him, he's very hesitant and he doesn't, you know. He's very ambiguous with it. Like he he doesn't want us to really know how long. Oh, it was just a long time. What, ten so, years? so you know it's like we ten know, years. Like, That's a long time. This been some time. You know what I'm saying? It's been about ten years. Damn, time. You see how Tasha just stand on his ass. <laughs> That's one thing I did appreciate with this because she was just. <laughs> Yeah, you, I mean, you've been with her for 10 years, right? <laughs> she just kept throwing it out there. I'm like, oh, my God, 10 Yeah. It's been about 10 years. Yeah, yeah. This is a, this is a relate. That's what I'm saying. Like, And I know a lot of people got upset with me when I, I kind of capped for you. like Because I'm just like, Melody had to have known as a wife. Like, you can't play the victim that long. Like, seven years of your marriage, you go on to have another baby with your husband while he's actively in another relationship with a woman. Well, you know, Erin and I, we were off and on, though. Yeah. You know? And... Melody, she knew that we were off and on. And, you know, like, I, I tell Melody, hey, listen, like, I want my marriage to work. You know, everyone say that, too. Like, I just say, like, I want my marriage to work. You feel me? And I, I'm home. Like, I always went home anyway, though. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I was always home. You never spent a night out. I was, I was what always. What about the Atlanta trip tonight? I was, I was always. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you always came home, because, nigga, you was always cheating. Yeah, but I always did what I was supposed to do. And No. No. I was, always, on I, was always home. I was always home. Did y'all do that? Let's stop, let, real quick. Damn. Go ahead. No, because it's moment of truth. Now, like, you ain't married to nobody now. Like, you, you, you been putting it out there. I don't know. Ariel might say, I don't know. I don't want to slip up at all, okay? <laughs> okay. Now, you see that? He knows that she's listening, so he want to make sure he's saying all the right things. That way, he could keep this dummy on the bench for another 10 years. Okay. You have been painted as the villain on Love and Marriage Hustle. As he is the villain. Who the hell is painting him? The cheater, the narcissist, the, the a narcissist. Yeah, too. they call you a narcissist. They say you don't see your wrongdoings. Oh shit! Yes, I do. But I'm not gonna dwell on this shit. I'm not gonna. What are some of your wrongdoings, or were your wrongdoings? Cheating. Okay. Not communicating. No, no, I was a great communicator. Okay. Sweetheart, listen. You, you need to start. You need to start. There's no reason that I should be out here buying food for the children. You and your mom is here at home. Can you, can you start cooking again? Like, come on. Well, well, sweetheart, listen, you haven't given me sex in over a week. Like, what's up? Well, shit, maybe she wanted to give it to somebody else that deserved it. You didn't, okay? You didn't. You was probably talking to her crazy, treating her any kind of way, and that, you know, that doesn't make it right what you did. That doesn't give you license to step out. You know, like you chose to be married, but that's what I keep trying to tell y'all. They will waste your time like that. Men like him. Okay. Toxic men. You know how they feel, what they want. It always changes. They always move the goalposts. Nothing you could have said or did whatever helped them, whatever helped the situation in y'all marriage or relationship. Okay. You know, or hey, I want some head tonight. I mean, not, not saying every single day, but 
for a whole, whole, whole year. I complained about certain things like that. That's great communication. She said, even on the show. Now, while you was doing that, you could have got your damn builder's license. That's what you could have did. See how the priorities, see where Melody's priorities are and look at where his is. He doesn't have any. He's worried about sex. That everything that I complained about, you were already doing. And you stopped doing. Well, what did she say that you weren't doing? I just told you. Had is I wasn't talking freaky. I, oh, I did everything else. I was, I signed my kids up for all the sports. For As you should, nigga. You they daddy. Like, oh my God. <laughs> like, <laughs> do you want, do you, do you want a cookie for that? Okay. Piano. <clears throat> I was over, like, you know, education terms, like, what school they Child, don't talk about my boy. So what? He cheated. He signed those kids up for piano, though. He a good father. Child, he, want, he wants to be crowned king for doing what he's supposed to do. That shit is mediocre. That's what you are supposed to do. And really quickly, a lot of them think it's cute that they are ain't shit men and they ain't shit husbands and boyfriends, but I'm a good father. I'm a good father, though. You can't take that away. No, we can't take it away. We can. Education now and athletics now only because I used to do that when we were married. So there ain't a reason to switch it up now. So I was like, the, the, I'm the parent, you know, like. So, don't touch it. Don't touch it. I don't know. Why is it so hard for you to just be vulnerable? You talk like as a man, like, it's okay. Like, I gotta, I can't be out here sounding soft. I'm sounding hard right now. Yes. Damn. You know what? Fuck it. I'm, 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 I'm a man. What did I tell y'all when y'all hear that? What did I tell y'all? That is the biggest red flag about a toxic man is he gonna keep telling you, but I'm a man, but I'm a man. But, but I'm being a man. But I'm being a man. There's a whole Me Too movement out here that don't give a damn about y'all just being men. Okay? The boys in blue, honey, they don't care either. Okay? So just because you are a man does not give you license and authority to disrespect anybody, make anybody feel uncomfortable because you are attracted to them. It can't be a one-sided attraction, okay? Because some of y'all like to do that. But yeah, that's a red flag. I'm a man, but I'm a man. I'm just being a man. I never go around saying, and I may slip up every now and then and be like, yeah, you know, I'm I'm a woman and, you know, I, I got to do this. And, I, you know, you may say it here or there, right? But I don't be, well, I'm a woman. I'm just being a woman. I'm just, why the hell do I need to remind y'all that I'm a damn woman, that I got a cootie cat between my legs? Why do I need, that just sounds so ignorant. It's almost like you don't have nothing else to say and you just talking to hear yourself talk. Ciao, bye. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not acting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I know you're talking about me being vulnerable. And, and You should try being vulnerable, but you can't be vulnerable because then that would force you to have some remorse on how you treated your ex-wife. And you can't have that because you're too damn petty and cocky and childish and you got to win. And it's interesting that he said all that stuff about Nene and that's what he wants to happen to Melody. He don't want her to be able to work. He don't care about them children like that. He don't care about who watching them like that. Everything is to stop Melody from working and being her best self. I guess I'm not a vulnerable ass nigga. It's it, it just what it is. You know, in, in a lot of my communication, growing up, I've never been one of a most in real life, I'm really not an emotional dude. I'm, I'm very, um, like, rah-rah type dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I grew up, I was a fighter. You know what I'm saying? So you're, like, football, you're I'm, really I'm ready, I, was, I was ready to knock somebody out playing football. I'm, like a, I'm an aggressive person, but not too aggressive. I never hit a woman. See, he made sure to put that. <laughs> See, he was about to tell on himself. Okay. 
let them talk long enough, they they begin telling on themselves. <laughs> Let's get that right, you know. And I and I never really talk reckless either um, to women when it in real life because get on that show, like just say Nell and I going back and forth mm-hmm. in real life that that shit ain't happening. <clears throat> saying like I can read in between the lines, like you know I'm not gonna say that I, I'm not gonna put it out there. I'm just saying what I what I heard is that because of you know the breakdown in your marriage and you feel like she was doing her thing and you were doing your thing, yeah. <clears throat> could it be a possibility? I ain't gonna say it's a possibility, but, but she but. I heard that she was doing things at that time, and you know, it was asking me to get a DNA test but you you know, know, from question. somebody that was close to her in knowing her, knowing, knowing her doings. So she got friends that are close to her. Oh, no, to you? not anymore, because just like everybody, Melanie okay. fell out with everybody. You see that? That's a part of the smear campaign. She can't stay cool with nobody. She always fall out with everybody. No, certain people are toxic, and you have to cut ties. And it does not matter how long somebody has been in your life. Sometimes you have to cut ties for your own sanity. Life is hard enough. You don't need another brother Tucker around you making it harder. You need help. And don't be afraid to ask for it. Because a lot of people love um, aligning themselves with a strong person. That way they can be weak. Okay? Oh, I just know she going to take care of everything. They will take advantage of your kindness of you being responsible yeah i just know i could rely on her and then they will mess around and be there for everybody else and they will allow those people they could they could be weak and and vulnerable and be going through it and they will you know they will hold them down and be there for them but you you strong you strong you don't you don't need any help or support Okay, so there's a lot of that going on in this world. Everybody, yeah. Um, so <clears throat> you feel that your 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 baby is your baby? Of course, your daughter, your daughter. of course, it's my sweetheart. Okay, all my kids, my sweethearts, all of them. <laughs> child bye now really quickly i'm not gonna play all of it you guys but he got to talking about this affair that melody had um while they were married with their attorney and um he was gonna sue the man and the man had a fiance and you know melody was a side chick and it's like i don't even i don't care what she did because i'm not one of those people where i'm like yeah melody the woman she should just be a bigger person y'all know this is not that channel <laughs> this is not that channel at all i don't expect for you to be the bigger person i what i do expect from you is for you to look out for yourself so whatever melody did oh the hell well you started it and hell if she gotta finish it it is what it is i don't even believe the damn story it's very outlandish and all over the place but once again it's a part of his smear campaign to tear her down they actually played the audio of her saying that she had you know did the fellatio on somebody so he wanted to you know oh well she had lied and said that she didn't she couldn't re- who ca- we don't care we do not care we don't feel bad for you and what's what's very sad and sick and twisted about, you know, dealing with narcissists is they, you know, put you in a burning house and treat you so bad and then turn around and gaslight you and act like the victim. It is like real life crazy making. These people are crazy. That's why I am very cautious about who I have around me. Like, uh-uh. <laughs> No, (laughs) ma'am. I am a party that everybody is not invited to. Okay. Hello. Shout out to Rodney the voice, honey. I love how he say hello. (laughs) The reason that she even took my uh, my name off the uh, the business license. And I had an ongoing contract with with somebody at that time, too. Who gives a damn? She was able to take your damn name off the builder's license. That was your cue to go and get your own builder's license but he's so fucking codependent he don't know how to do nothing for himself look at it he he needed two women he ain't child he don't he didn't need no damn two women he wanted to use women to avoid doing for himself 
There are men that's like that. They will latch on to you and expect for you to be their mama. And, and when you don't want to play that role, they will look at you like you crazy. Oh, yeah. And he mentioned the man's name. He literally said it verbatim. He said that man's name. He's pathetic. Right now. Mm-hmm. Um, because I'm, I'm like, I, we got we to move forward. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, and, I, and I'm hope that's I, I'm hoping that that's what everybody else want to do too. Did y'all hear that? He said he's not filming right now, and then he's such a liar because he he said that they are filming, but I guess you mean the cast is filming. Your ass ain't filming. You know, because I'm tired of Melly creating. Situ- me fucking going to jail. See, he didn't like him going to jail. He didn't like that, so he was like, "Yeah, I gotta get her." True narcissist, honey. I got to get her. I got to take this bitch down. Like, any strength, honey, that, honey, (laughs) any strength they got up in them, they got to teach you a lesson. They got to come out on top. This is a pissing contest, okay? It's a pissing contest with him. He's, He's so competitive with her. And they they act like that with women they can't control. Now, the damn fools that want to be on the bench for all these years, these damn codependents that want to bow down and acquiesce to what these fools want to do, they don't do all of that with her. They may... Now, I did hear from the original Straight No Chaser lady that she allegedly alluded to the fact that... um, Martell, you know, has been, you know, physical with Ariana. She did allude to that. Um, I guess Ariana allegedly had told her some stuff. So, ciao. But yeah, he's very controlling. And that's that other part of it. The physical part. That's why a lot of men get physical with women to control you, to put you in your place. Oh, you said that? You said that? Now I'm going to punch you. Now I'm going to scream and yell and act a fool and uh uh-uh. Okay. Ladies, don't, don't tolerate that. Call that police. That's what they there for. Call the boys in blue (laughs) if he want to act a fool. Okay. But yeah, he didn't like her, you know, getting him arrested. That embarrassed him. And it's so funny because anytime they do, you know, disrespectful shiggity to you, you just supposed to take it on the chin, on the chest. But if the same stuff happened with them, they just, you know, they are enraged. Okay. They love vilifying the true victim. Okay. This message. Like everything that I showed you, my, she could have went to jail for everything that you've got seen for hitting me. She could have gone to jail. She could have gone to jail, you know. But do I want the mother of my children to go to jail? No, no. How am I? How yes, am I? you do. <laughs> yes, you do. That's why you show Tasha K the receipts. We're not stupid, okay? You don't get to harass somebody. How would her mom feel? You know what I'm saying? Like how my mom felt. My mom is hurt. My my family, my uncles, everybody like, damn, my nephew, you know, my son. Like, I'm not the dude to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? You hear that? This messes with my image, but you need to get real about your image. Your your image is out of control. Do you know who you really are? Like I said, he's superficial and he's trying to create an identity for himself. That's why he latched himself on to Sheree. And we was all mad at Sheree. Like, girl, don't be like bringing him on Real Housewives of Atlanta. He, he should have never been on a show like that. The way he treated his ex-wife as women, we should be disgusted with this behavior. But you you dating and you 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 allow him around your friend group. You know, he didn't deserve that opportunity. It's like being able to. I don't know. It's like you're getting rewarded for bad behavior. It just shouldn't happen. Nobody should date him. Everybody should avoid him. He needs to change. He needs to come correct, be humble. He's not, he's not normal. You guys, this behavior is is not normal. It's normal to him though, right? 
But anyways, you guys, that's all I have to say about that. Don't forget, guys, to like, comment, and subscribe. I am your girl, brand new, and I will check you guys out in the next video.